Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. It is the second to last day of autumn and it is Lars's and Marion's birthday today. Must try and remember to take them both some cake. Good morning, Snowdrop. Let's go for a walk. Now, what did it take to make a seed maker? Supple lumber, gold bars and wood charcoal. The gold bars we have and the wood charcoal and supple lumber we can easily get. We have the supple lumber here and if my memory serves we need the um, solid logs for the wood charcoal two per piece so 20 should be the correct amount. Let's see. Yep, let's make 10. And oh, we still need to make the actual seed maker. Now we are done crafting. We could also make a stone chest. So we need one right next to the yarn makers and cloth makers. And I was thinking we could also Move this stone lantern over there. So, right here. We just need to get rid of those grasses. Oops. Here we go. And I guess those iron rocks too. Let's set the chest down and the lantern can... oh that's too pop. too bad I can't center it. Let's just put it there. Now we can put the yarn and the fabric over here. I'll arrange them better once, uh, once I actually have time for that. Now, a uh, snowdrop. Now we need to get to the um, spring garden so that we can set down the seed maker and water our onions and strawberries. And 
there it is. Right? Let's water these onions and strawberries. The sprinkler has already watered the turnips, so no need to worry about those. Hopefully, we will soon have some onions at least. I think the strawberries take quite a while. Let's go see our friends, the Earth Sprites. We have one new follower, so they go. And what do you have for us? Big fin reef squid and common squid. Logs. Milk. And at the shop. Hmm, pineapple, marigold seeds, no, I will, I will save my sprite coins. Okra soup and yellow pottage, spinach, and stone and flexible grass. Let's go back home. Empty our inventory some. And we have some chili peppers to harvest. Let's get these. Looks like we also have some radishes. And follower sprites, nice. We now have 34 of those follower sprite points saved up. So only 66 more and we can unlock our next seasonal garden. Uh -huh, 65 more. I don't think the okra will yield us another harvest but it's a shame to leave any plants thirsty so I watered it anyway. Nice. We've had a pretty good luck with the follower sprites today. Already found a few. Let's see. Uh, what do we have on the bulletin board at Town Hall? I'll just do this before I tend to the animals so that I don't accidentally make any any eggs into mayo that are then requested as eggs on the bulletin board. Nice. Some title rewards there. Gold town medal and jewelry locket. Sorry, Mayor can't stop to talk. I have a lot to do. Let's go see about the house upgrade and also about the barn and coop upgrades. How much were they and what resources do we need? A hundred thousand for a large house. Sixty supple and durable lumber. Forty silver and gold ingots. Okay. A giant fridge does sound awesome though. Big coop. Solid lumber. 
silver ingots and flexible grass. We can actually do this already. Big barn, supple lumber, gold ingots and tough grass. For this we need more gold ingots I believe. But the big coop, that is quite doable. Maybe, maybe we could upgrade it today. Let's pick that up. Another follower sprite. Very nice. We can sell the gold town medal. I think we want to keep the locket to give to somebody special at some point. Let's sell those and I guess we can sell these as well. And like half of the chilies, I don't think we need 80. Yep. Now, let's see to our animals. Hello, Harebell. Buttercup. Come on out, it's a beautiful day. Let's make some mayo. Oops. I really want a bigger fridge. But a hundred thousand and a lot of resources. Huh. Hello, Petunia. Ginseng. Cornflower. A barn upgrade is going to come before a house upgrade, that's for sure. Zinnia. Get you all nice and cleaned up. I think we could upgrade the coop today. And then the next thing that we'll save the gold ingots for could be the barn upgrade. Let's make some yogurt and some more yogurt and some cheese. I really need to put some paths here as well. Hello Willow. Dandelion. Daisy. You can come out too. It's a lovely day. Now was 10 silver ingots. I think we have some in the making here. Yes, we do. Perfect. Let's gather up these things from the makers. There's that red barrel. And now we need solid lumber and flexible grass. 
Yes. Let's do the coop upgrade so we can start breeding our chickens. That'll be nice. Hello again, Nigel. Let's get that big coop. Yep. So does it just instantly upgrade or... I think for the barn upgrade we have everything but the gold bars. Did you get a good look at Olive Hall? Isn't it the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I want to show it off to everyone. Well, I don't know about the most amazing thing I've ever seen, but it does look nice. Ah, we have the big coop in our inventory now. Do we just put it over the small coop? Or what do we do with this? Is it an upgrade or is it its own separate building? I guess we'll find out. It does seem like it's its own separate building. Ah, uh, yes it is. And it has a slightly larger footprint than the small coop does. Hmm. It would make sense to put it there. So we need to clear the area a little. But first, let's go and deliver the uh, red barrel. Actually, I think we should do the birthday thing because people will be going to bed at around 10. So we kind of have a time limit there. Whereas Town Hall is going to be open all night. So Ah, oh, we don't have any strawberries. Fruit cake will have to do. Oh, we can only make one fruit cake. Well, the other thing is going to have to be something else then. And we'll top it with a melon. We want it to be nice. Ooh, lots of stars. What can we make without flour? Not a whole lot. Hmm. Pudding? We could top it with a cherry. Botamochi? Hmm. What is that? Salt. Oh yes, we need to... We need to grind the salt rocks into salt. Well, we can make this without toppings for now. And we still have like three-ish hours to get to the birthday people before they go to bed. 
So let's hustle. I think Marian lives in Terracotta Oasis. Yes, she does. Hello. Ah, another magnificent day. Yes, it is. Uh, let's give her this. You should head home soon, honey. All-nighters are disastrous for your poor skin. Um, I will head on home as soon as I've given you this. A birthday present for me? Why, Heather, you're so thoughtful. This calls for a hug of gratitude. Big hugs. Aww. Well, if it isn't Heather, finished with your work for the evening? Not even close. Mustache, back home. We still have another birthday person to go see. Let's take the motorcycle. It'll make this much faster. Here we are, first stop. Hey guys. Maybe I should invite one of my old hometown buddies out here. They can stay at my place even. Sounds like a plan. Uh, does Olive Hall look extra fancy to you now? Or am I just imagining things? We did have a like a big ceremony thing for it recently <laughs> you remembered my birthday dang i'm on cloud nine well that's the birthday stuff done now let's go hand in the red barrel Here you go, Patricia. And now we can go home and clear the area for the big coop and set it down and assign the chickens to it. So the first thing we need to do probably is clear away these rocks. And that too. And were there any over here? Yes. And this one as well. Oops. Then we'll take care of the grasses and the trees and also the tree and grass behind here didn't quite reach this and might as well get the puddle and the sapling as well now we have a nice clear area here do we need to move the makers 
yes, the mayo maker. Let's move you. Grab the mayo. And yep, all that's left to do is to move the small coop out, out of the way. And then we can place the big coop right there. Yep, so B to clear away the small coop. That's right. And now we'll put the big one down. And we'll name it Cozy Coop as well. This is a bit of a clumsy way to do an upgrade in my opinion. Stardew Valley has a much better system where you just upgrade an existing facility. Big Coop allows you to own even more chickens at a time than before. If you use the breeding services at the animal shop, your farm family will grow even bigger. That's what I'm planning to do. Right, so we can have quite a few chickens now. Uh, there you are. Come on over here. And you as well. And we have space for eight more. Nice. Oops, inventory full. Let's put down the mayo maker. Like so. Harvest that. And gather up the bricks. Uh, we have some, some planks here some lumber. Let's empty our inventory a little and then it'll be high time to go inside and call it a day. We still need to put away the grasses and the bricks and stone. So this chest, there we go, and we'll also need to go to the mineral chest, silver ingot, we are going to need to make a lot more of those. They are also needed for sprinklers. And then we'll need 40 for the house upgrade. Let's put this silver into this maker. Or as much of it as we can anyway. And the rest we can put back in there. Only three more gold ingots and we have enough for a barn upgrade. That'll be nice. We can sell the animal products. I don't know where to put the big coop yet. Oh, <laughs> not the big coop, the small coop. Don't know where, the, where to put that yet. But we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll sell it or store it in a chest or something. Hmm. I guess we could put the chili peppers into the fridge now.
yeah, I, I wasn't trying to put it into the fridge. I guess this way we can sort our inventory. Yes. Just clean it up a little. Make it so that it's a bit neater. And it's already past midnight, so let's save here for now and continue on to the next day, next time. If you like this video, please leave it a like. And if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you in the comments below.